Identify the three categories of rocks. Igneous, formed from molten rock, sedimentary, pieces of other rocks and fossilized organisms, and metamorphic, formed from heat and pressure. Rock Igneous Molten Sedimentary Fossilized Metamorphic So in this unit we are identifying the three kinds of rock and how they're formed. Now, you don't have to go so far as being able to identify which one of these is which. All you need to be able to do is identify that igneous rock is made from melted or molten rock, sedimentary rock is made from pieces of other rocks and fossils, and metamorphic rock is made from partially melted rock under heat and pressure. These examples are igneous. All of these rocks over here are igneous. They were made from molten rock, melted rock. These are sedimentary here in the center. And this piece on the end is a piece of metamorphic rock. Now, I'm going to share where I got these rocks from and how they were formed. Remember, we're identifying the three kinds of rock and how they were formed. When we're done, we'll come back here and I'll go over these rocks with you. There are three basic parts to all soil, sand, silt, and clay. You'll also find a lot of things that were once living but are now dead mixed in with the soil, and that's called organic matter. Here in this container of silt, you'll see there's a lot of little pieces of stick and root, dead vegetable matter that has been mixed in with that silt. Here's some clay over here. This doesn't look like the clay that you use in art class. This is natural, real clay found right here in Florida, but you see that it sticks together the same way that the clay in art does. So these are the basic components of all soils, sand, silt, and clay. Here's some sand that was found on Chukaluski Island near Everglades City, and you'll see that it's got a lot of shell mixed into it. Here's some other sand that was found on the other side of Florida and Hutchinson Island, and you'll see that it's got a lot of pieces of, of shell in there too, but they're ground down really fine. So, and as a scientist, I like to label stuff so I know where they came from. That clay came from Crew Marsh. The silt came from Crew as well. I did not label that one, but that came from Naples Beach. And of course, this one came from Chukaluski. So those are the basic parts of soils, sand, silt, and clay mixed in with organic material. That means living material. In this case, you'll see some shells and some dead plant matter mixed in there as well. Sand, silt, clay, and organic matter. When rock is broken apart, that's called weathering, and when it's moved from one place to another, that's called erosion. Rivers do a great job of moving broken bits of rocks to the ocean where they fall to the bottom of the ocean. These pieces of broken rock and fossilized organisms are called sediments, and that's what you see here at the bottom of this container. Now, the river does a really nice job of mixing all of those sediments together, those sands, those silts, those clays, and you'll see here that they start to settle out at the bottom of what is a model ocean in this case. This is called deposition. When a river moves sediments to an ocean, it deposits or leaves them, similar to making a deposit at the bank, it deposits those sediments into an ocean where they fall to the bottom of the ocean and form a layer of sediment. Over time, that layer of sediment gets cemented together by the material that's there under pressure and forms new rock called sedimentary rock. Now these are examples of sedimentary rock found right here in Florida. They're mixed from sand, silt, and not very much clay. You'll see a little bit in this example of limestone. Most of the rock that you find in Florida is limestone. It's formed at the bottom of a shallow sea, and we know that because we can see the imprints of fossilized organisms, like shells, in the limestone rock. It's mainly mixed from sand, 
But when those shells break down and grind together, that those broken bits of shell act like cement. And that's what cements this limestone sedimentary rock together. Here's a small piece of limestone. You can see that it's made up of fine grain sand. These are sedimentary rocks that are made from pieces of rocks and fossilized organisms. Observe the three categories of rocks. In 2006, my wife and I visited Costa Rica, and here we are on the beach at Jaco. Now, you'll notice that it looks like it's hot out. You'll also notice the jungle and the rocks behind us. And if you look at this picture, you can see that there's a hill in the background. You'll see the rocks in the front and the hill in the background. Everything here is an example of igneous rock. The hills that you see and the rocks that you see are all lava that cooled on the surface of the earth and formed new rocks. So you see really cool examples of lava that has flowed out over the land and formed igneous rock. Later that morning after we left the beach, we hop on our tour bus and you'll see that everybody's dressed for warm weather, shorts and t-shirts. It's very warm and comfortable out. We are at sea level. Later that day, we found ourselves at the top of a volcano, Vol Volcan Irazu in Costa Rica, and we were at an elevation of 11,000 feet. At 11,000 feet, we are dressed quite differently. It's very cold up there. That's the effect that elevation has on weather. It's much colder. It's 48 degrees on top of Volcan Irazu in Costa Rica. It was much warmer at sea level, 95 degrees. Now you'll notice all these gray rocks scattered all over the surface of the volcano. These were rocks that were ejected or spat out by the volcano when it last erupted. Igneous rocks are formed from melted rock either under the Earth's surface as magma or on top of the Earth's surface as we've seen here in Costa Rica as lava. Here's a picture of my son and I in 2004 sitting on some rocks on the coast of Maine. Now, at first glance, when you look at the rocks, you'll see there's a lot of lines. You might be tempted to think that those rocks are sedimentary rock, and actually that's how they were originally formed. But when we take a closer look, we actually see that these are not flat. These rocks look like they have been bent and folded. This is an example of metamorphic rock. Here you can see Thomas standing underneath a fold of the metamorphic rock. It looks like it's been partially baked, and that's how metamorphic rocks are formed. They're melted under heat and pressure, not all the way like igneous rocks are. They're, they're just melted partially. And then when they cool, they've been bent and folded by heat and pressure, and so you end up with these great shapes inside these metamorphic rocks. Now this is a really interesting combination. On the left and right, you'll see metamorphic rock, and in the center, you see something that looks different. Underneath that heat and pressure that these rocks were formed in, some of that rock actually was fully melted and became igneous and pushed up through cracks in the metamorphic rock and formed new igneous rock inside of a metamorphic rock formation. That's really strange. Look at this white line of quartz that's running up through the metamorphic rock. That's a small crack that was filled by molten quartz. Recognize how each category of rock is formed. Igneous rock is formed from melted rock. If the melted rock is above ground, we call that lava. Melted rock below ground is called magma. Igneous rock can be formed either above ground or below ground. Sedimentary rock is formed usually under oceans, and it's formed from pieces of broken rock and sometimes also the fossilized remains of animals and plants that lived in that area. Metamorphic rock is formed underground when rock is partly melted under heat and pressure and then cools to form new rock. It's not completely melted like igneous rock, but it is formed under heat and pressure. 
Identify the three categories of rocks. Igneous, formed from molten rock. Sedimentary, pieces of other rocks and fossilized organisms. And metamorphic, formed from heat and pressure. So now that you've had a chance to see where I collected these rocks, we'll start with these samples of igneous rock. This piece right here came from that beach in Costa Rica, Jaco Beach. This is a piece of igneous rock that was formed from molten lava that came out of a volcano, flowed over the land, and cooled and formed rock on the surface of the earth. These little ones right here came from the top of Volcan Irazu at 11,000 feet. These were pieces that were exploded out of the top of the volcano and landed in that, in that field that you saw. Um, more igneous rock formed by a volcano. These ones in Costa Rica. This piece right here, these two pieces actually came from Colorado. These are both igneous rock. This one came from the top of Pikes Peak. This was not formed by a volcano. This was formed deep under the earth as magma and then got pushed up to the surface of the earth and that's now the top of a mountain and my son brought that back to me. Um, also this piece in front here, this is a piece of granite, another piece of igneous rock. These sedimentary rocks, you saw these in the video, these came from right here in Florida. This is what you find when you're outside playing. You see these all the time. Virtually all the rock on the surface of Florida is made of limestone, which is sand and other sediments mixed in with fossils and made into limestone. And you can see how, how different that can appear. This piece right here, this is actually one of the pieces of rock that we were sitting on on the coast of Maine. This is a piece of metamorphic rock. And these rocks are often mistaken for petrified wood. They do look like an, an old piece of wood, but they're not petrified wood. This was sedimentary rock similar to the limestone that was partially melted under heat and pressure. And when it cooled, it formed this metamorphic rock. And you can see that this, if I were to try to peel this apart, it would fracture right along that line. I'm not going to do that because I, I really like that rock. Uh, that's a piece that my son and I collected together. So those are the three kinds of rocks, igneous, molten or melted rock, sedimentary, pieces of other rocks and fossils, metamorphic rock formed under heat and pressure.